angry guy here and black women are furious that Japanese women are taking the black men that they didn't want. Black women are furious that Japanese women are taking the black men that they didn't want. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Since I've been living here is the amount of coonery that I've seen in Tokyo. And sorry to say, but it's mainly from black men from America. The way that I have to watch y'all treat me and my fellow black sisters like shit, but treat the Japanese women all delicately like they're special flowers is insane. The amount of times that I've met black men from America who give people the N-word here is crazy. I recently went to a club and this black guy was asking me how my experience is here dating and I was telling him and then he was like, well, I'm in heaven here because, you know, they like fetishize us. So they'd be worshiping us and doing whatever the fuck we want. So I'm in heaven. What? None? Or the black men that'll be talking to me and then when we get done, they're like, I enjoyed the conversation. You're so cool. I love black women. I worship black women. I wish there was more in Tokyo. And then we'll go over to their Japanese girlfriend and then talk shit about us. When black American men get over here, the coonery be on 10. Y'all need to pipe down because they do not give a fuck about y'all. Guys, these women are so furious because black men are going overseas, finding happiness, finding women that actually want to be with them, that are great, fit, feminine, and friendly. And, you know, and these women are furious. All right. Oh, the black men are like, oh, we worship you. No, what it is is that black women want black men to worship them. They don't want black men to have any other options. Why is it that black, when black men leave the United States and they go to these other countries, they don't have any problems in these other countries? You don't hear about black men ending up in jail in other countries. They go all over Asia. They go to South America. They go to all of these countries. They settle in a lot of these countries. Why are they end up in, Why are they ending up in jail? Why are they having problems with runners with? With law enforcement, the reason why is because Western society is designed around black women, okay? Black women who are the ones who help to create this society and this system that, that holds black men back. They've, they're the ones who created these communities. They destroyed their communities, and they're proud of it. And they want to keep it going. They don't want this to change. It is heaven for them. They can get public assistance over here. They can get child... They can get public assistance. They can get child support. They can get whatever they like. And, they, and they're going to keep it going for as long as they can. And now the black men are like, you know what? We're done with this. We don't want to have anything to do with this. We're going to get the heck out of here. We're going to go overseas and find someone who actually appreciates us. And they're furious because this is this is how they survive, all right? Without these men, without these men who have the money, because the passenger bros are the men who have the money, they can't make it, all right? In Tokyo for about six months now and I want to give you guys the down low about dating as a black woman so somebody recently told me something that baffled me they said that a lot of times Japanese men don't approach black women they have this thing amongst them saying that, you know, the darker her skin, the more she wants sex. So let's say that you're out with your girls and all the light skinned ones and all the white ones are like, oh, I want to fuck somebody tonight. Now, if you're there saying that you don't want to, Japanese men are going to automatically think that you want to have sex. They're not going to come approach you. They're not going to want to ask you out. They're not going to want to give you their number or get your line or whatever, because they're like, no, she's black. She wants to have sex. How does skin color equal how bad I want it? You know what I mean? But that's how they be thinking. I'm not saying all, but some. Guys, she just can't accept. She cannot accept that these men just don't want it. These men are just not interested. All right? She cannot accept that. This is absolute nonsense. Think about it logically. If the Japanese men actually thought that black that if you approach a black woman, black women are more more receptive to you. They would be rushing over there. They would be like, "Oh, how are you doing?" They'd be like, "Konnichiwa," blah 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 blah. Come on, guys. All right, you know they'd be like, "Hey, my name is Yohei. I, you know, I I saw you. I thought you were beautiful. Do you want to go to the? Do you want to go hang out?" This is this it's the honest and goodness truth. The reason why they are not approaching is because. They hear because of the things that they've heard. It's because of the things that they've heard. The portrayal of black women in Western society, that they are argumentative, that they have that masculine energy. You have to understand the Japanese men don't want that. They don't want to be with a woman who is who is going to be very aggressive, who's going to be argumentative, who's going to be domineering. They don't tolerate that. So they will just avoid being, they will avoid, you know, 
women like that entirely because they want to be with someone who is peaceful. All right. And, and, let me, and don't don't misunderstand. They love black culture over there. They love black music. They love black food. They love black culture. But they are not running, and they they don't want any of those problems. They don't want the problems that black men have faced in Western society. They don't want to put up with that. And that's the reason why they're not approaching. And these women, they think that they're God's gift to mankind. And they're supposed to be worshipped, and they don't understand that it, it's not like that. It is not like that. They step outside of the United States, and their competition are women who are fit, feminine, and friendly, and they think that they are better. They think that they are better. They think that they look better. They think that they are smarter. And it's like it's it's just unbelievable. They take this toxic behavior, this toxic attitude to Japan, to to all not just Japan, to the Philippines, to Laos, to Thailand, everywhere, everywhere, to, to, to Colombia, Cambodia, everywhere they go, Brazil, the Dominican Republic, Venezuela, they take it everywhere they go. And then they wonder why they're not finding any success. And it's because the men are tired. The men don't want this. They don't want any part of it. They don't want to get involved in it. The men want their peace and they are going to do whatever they have to get it. The men are leaving them. They are going. They are leaving Western society because they don't what they're off. They don't. They don't want what what the, what they're offering. Okay. They want. They want fit, feminine, friendly, and women in Western society have made it very clear that they view cooking and cleaning as a form of servitude that they do not want to do. So the black men are like, okay, I feel you. I'm not going to bother you. I'm going to go where I'm appreciated, and they don't like this. They don't like it at all. Oh, how's the racism in Japan? How's the racism? Do you know what's really hurting my soul in Japan? When I see another black person and I go, and they go, oh. I mean, guys, look, look, at, look at the behavior. Look at the behavior. She is so furious. She is so furious that these dudes don't want to speak to her. Don't want to hang out with her. Act like they don't even see her. They went over there to get away from this. They get. They went over there because they didn't want this anymore. And she thinks that coming on the internet, putting up these videos on TikTok is going to do something. Because like I told you, like I said to you guys, what this is right here is that this is, this is not for the, the men who are already living in Japan. These videos are not aimed at the men who are already living in Japan and in and in Southeast Asia. These videos are aimed at the men who haven't made the move yet. What she's doing is what other black women have done to let them know that we will name you and we will shame you if you ever think about doing what those passport brothers have done. If you ever think about doing it, if you ever think about do it, doing it, Think again, because they're going over to Japan and they're not getting any love over there, but they're seeing that the men over there are succeeding and thriving and everything is going well for them and they dislike it. You have to understand that these people, they're not your friends. They don't have, look at the black community. They put the men out of their homes, all right? And they put that community into disarray. They chose public assistance over struggling to build something with the men in their communities. And now the and now the and now the communities are, are are tattered, and the men are walking away and saying, "You know what? We're done. We're done arguing. We're done trying. We're not. We're not doing it anymore." Don't misunderstand. They're going to fight for laws. They are going to fight for laws to be passed to stop men from leaving, from being able to marry overseas, from being able to take their money and go where they want with it and spend it. That is one of the reasons why a digital dollar is going. Someone actually said this on, someone said it on one of my videos. What they're going to do, what they're going to do is, and they're preparing it. What they're going to do is the next time there is a big, there is some big, there's something that happens in society like the events of 2020 and, and, and people need money. They're going to say, oh, we'll give you your payments, but they're going to be in the digital dollar. 
They're going to say, we'll give you your payments, but they're going to be in the digital dollar. And that's how they're going to usher in the digital dollar. That's how they're going to usher it in. And you won't be able to spend your money anywhere. They'll put restrictions on how you can spend your money. Oh, you want to spend your money in Japan? They're going to tax you for that. There will be a tax to spend your money in Japan. There will be a tax to spend your money in Asia. They will make it difficult to do it. They will make it expensive to do it. And their argument is going to be, well, this money belongs to us. The money is the property of the U.S. government. And you need to remember that, too. This is something very shocking that a lot of people don't know. It is illegal to destroy money. It is illegal to destroy money. Why is it illegal to destroy money? Because you don't own it. You don't physically own the money in your pocket. It's a very strange thing. Money in your pocket is legally owned by the United States government. So the digital dollar is owned by them. They're only allowing you to use it to represent the value. That's it. So when they create the digital dollar and they put out the digital dollar, and you want to spend your money in in the Philippines and Thailand and everything, they will make it so expensive that you eventually say it's not worth it. That's how it's going to work. That's how they're going to devalue it. Oh, you want to get the best bang for your buck? Okay, well, then you're going to have to spend your money in the United States. And that's why crypto is going to be so important because that's going to be the only way that you can avoid this form of taxation and control. And let me let me remind you, when that happens, forget about something like trying to conceal money or not, you know, or saying that the IRS, the, you know, or the IRS, they're just going to take the money directly. They're going to tax that money directly. Everything you make, they're just going to tax it directly. They'll take a percentage of every dollar that you have. This is going to change the entire tax system where they're going to take a percentage of every dollar you make, everything. And then you can try to argue and hope that they'll give you some credits back, but it doesn't exist. Money will not fit. It will no longer exist. Money is, I mean, guys, that, it, fiat currency is already is already worth less than the paper that it's actually printed on. All right? It's only worth as much as people believe in it. Black women are fierce that Japanese women are taking the black men they didn't want. What do you think regarding this? Do you think that videos like this are going to stop black men from going overseas and finding finding new wives and happy lives? outside of Western society, finding new wives and happy lives outside of Western society. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.